Assalamu alaikum guys. This is a, a tutorial to do with another dictionary website for those who are learning Arabic. Um, so if you type in the top there, and if you guys can see this. Yeah. You guys can see it there. So basically you type in edgetal. edgetal.net and uh, then what you do is you go to this part here. So here they've got the various sections. They've got Al Manak basically is what we're gonna go into. They got the molded uh so it allows you to search in Mawrid and Logat Quran. So we'll we'll look through each one as we go through. And then you got find the nearest HMC outlet. So HMC in those who don't know, this is the um uh, organization for Halal Monitoring Committee. So they certify halal food. You got Hidayat and Nahu, so someone's for Hidayat and Nahu up. Summary of Arabic grammar, prepared as part of a course, and various sources. This uh, this website is actually set up by one of our students, and then it became an open resource so people could add on other things as well. Uh, okay, anyway, let's have a look then. So let's have a look at some various resources. What's that all about? So various resources, assalamu alaikum. So you can go into all of these. It's got like Medina University Arabic course, Hidayat and Nahu summarized English, online Arabic dictionary, smartphone access, Arabic verb chart, uh, Arabic fonts, and online Arabic workshops. So it's got your, you know, basically most of what a person needs to start their journey in learning Arabic. Yeah, so our, our online Arabic workshops. So those of you who are interested in buying books, it's got a section there links and if you go up you can see Arabic verb charts yeah so free Arabic verb charts in doc format and verb charts in PDF format so let's have a look at one of those then what's one of these so this is an Arabic chart verb chart okay so those of you are familiar with uh, sarf so you know this this is the fa'ala fu'ila yaf'alu all those so anyway let's go back so you can check that out yourselves Okay, uh, Hansway Dictionary, yeah, Lane's Lexicon, Al Maurid. So check out Maurid, not found. Okay, we'll have to update that. That's not found as well. And let's check this one. Uh, strike three. Nothing's found there. So okay, let's go up. Okay, Hidayat and Nahu summarized. So you want Hidayat and Nahu summarized? Let's have a look at it then. So let's see. Um, or simpler version of the document. Let's try that. So, ism. What's an ism? Ism is mu'rab, marfu'at. So this is broken isms down into different sections. Yeah, and then each part moves to that khabar. And then, it's got all of that. Yeah, so, mashallah, it's very nice. Yeah, so you can check this out for yourselves go through so this is a bit of an idea of where you can get information from so this is his his breakdown of Hidayat and Nahu yeah, it's quite quite neat as actually it's very okay so anyway let's go back okay so he's got four levels for if a person wants to learn some sort of Medina University Arabic course this is what they teach level one they teach these books the Rusul Lughat al Arabiya Ta'aleem al Ta'aleem al Kitaba. So it's basically writing, learn how to write. So you got the whole book there. And then level two, you got this and advances. So you can maybe study this with someone, get a hold of someone, try to go through this syllabus. And uh, you know, I think it's uh, still taught in Medina University, so it's quite beneficial. Okay, so you've got different and this is quite interesting because if you look at some of these, you've got like imla, which is dictation. That's important as well. A lot of students fail to be able to uh, recognize words if they hear them. So this is important for that. You've got um, ta'bir as expression, how to express yourself in different ways in Arabic. Um, yeah, it's quite, it's quite good. This is yeah, for a purely Arabic course. Okay, anyway, so that's that. Uh, let's go back. Okay, find the nearest HMC outlet. No, we don't need that. Mabahith al-Talib, Lisan Arab. 
Okay, so Mabahith al Talib, this seems to be going according to letters. So, how the letters work. So, um, yeah, so I don't know how this is supposed to work. Okay, anyway, so we ignore that. Alright, Al Mawrid. This is the Mawrid. Okay, so I think uh, instead of going here, yeah, this is basically like from English or Urdu to Arabic. Yeah, instead of going here, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the main one. Right, so this is the main one that I really want to show you guys. So this is uh, basically a collection of all these dictionaries. This is. See, I'm hiding all of these. So these are all the dictionaries that are available on this site. And I'm going to show you the... the uh, The way that this website is better than the one I showed you previously, Al Maani. Uh, and the reason for that is because this website actually shows you the original copy of the book. So there's no chance of a mistake being made in transcribing it into uh, a website. So this is actually the book itself. So they've taken the PDF of the book and they've actually stuck that up. So this is why this, this website is much better. Uh, much more accurate than the other one I showed you. So anyway, <coughs> these are all the dictionaries. So you got Hans Way Dictionary, Lane's Lexicon, LL Supplement, Lisan Al Arab. This is in Arabic, uh, and you got all these other ones that you can utilize, benefit from. Some of them are in English, some of them in Urdu, some of them are in Indonesian, I think Malaysian. Some of them are in um, other languages as well. So we're going to focus on, let's say, Hans Way. So basically the way this dictionary works is you type in you type in any word that you want. So for instance, all right, let's so this comes up. So now you need to have either an Arabic keyboard or you need to know how to type Arabic. So you look for a word. I don't think you can find English words. Let's try English word. The word book. Does it find book? No, it doesn't find book. Yeah, it actually looks for Arabic words. So you can actually type, I think. If you type like this kitab, it will actually look for kitab. Yeah, it will look for kitab. So, but we want the Arabic way. So, in Arabic kitab. So it finds it straight away for you, All right? And so over here, if you look, kataba, kataba, yeah, that, and then. Uh, it says U, so kataba yaktubu. So this follows the pattern of nasara yansuru. So this first column over here, see all this first column all the way down to here. Yeah, this is actually, oops, this is actually the column for the the verbs. So these are all columns for the verbs, and these symbols over here they signify which pattern the verbs appear on. Okay, which pattern? Now there's a there's a uh, a chart I used to have. I'm gonna have to find it. Uh, it helps you learn these. So one second, let me have a look. So I found it. Here it is. So you see, uh, one signifies fa'ala. Two signifies fa'ala. Three signifies fa'ala. Mufa'ala pattern. Four signifies af'ala if'al pattern. Five signifies tafa'ul pattern. Six is tafa'ul pattern. Tafa'ala ya tafa'alu tafa'ulun. Infa'ala signifies the infa'ala yanfa'u infi'al pattern. Ifta'ala is ifti'al pattern. Ifta'ala yafta'il ifti'al. Ifa'ala is ifa'ala ifa'al and ifa'u'ala. These are extra patterns. So usually you only need to use the first. Eight plus number ten is tafala. Okay, so these Roman numerals that you get basically in the dictionary, so these are signified by them. Yeah, so if it says something like this, so obviously you need to know Roman numerals. So if it says two, that means the fa'ala pattern. Okay, number two, fa'ala. And if it says uh, something like four here, so you see that one V is four. Okay, so it says one V, then four is af'ala pattern, if'al pattern. And if it says uh, 
5 plus 2 7 and then that means if in fa'ala fa'an and if it says uh, v1 which is 6 then it's the fa'ala fa'an and if it says v3 which is 8 then it refers to if the if the ala fa'an okay and if it says 10 then that refers to istif al fa'an because that's basically how you use the first column there yeah, the first column so the first column is purely for the verbs yeah, and, and then you have to look through it you have to find out which one is going to be appropriate in the translation that you want to look for so for instance you know you might be using kataba but it might come in the word in the meaning of to write or a pen or even write down or put down or note down inscribe enter record book register this ha basically means if it has a pronoun then katabahu yeah, katabahu to compose draw up indefinite draft um, to bequeath make over by will uh, to give written orders okay so there's uh, some websites out there which try and explain to you how to use this this uh, dictionary so but the main thing you have to remember is that these kind of dictionaries Arabic dictionaries they work in with the the root letters so when I wrote kitab if you remember I wrote in kitab so you actually have to remember that kitab is made up of kaf ta and ba so it's going to be looking for kaf ta ba right and that's why it starts off with kaf ta ba because that's the root letters and then after that the second column is what we call the mustar or other extra words miscellaneous words related to that so kutubi yeah kitab khana kitab kutayb kitaba so they're all from the root letters of kataba and gives you all the different meanings of this okay out there so you can use that try that have a go and tell me in the comments if you want me to make some more videos on on this and i'm going to make some videos on the other dictionaries as well if you have any questions about how to use hands where the main thing is you need to practice so i would suggest get yourself a text for example like uh uh, say for example there's uh, this book I have here alright now let's say for example I want to look for the word Al Mursala so I have to know the root letters so I can try typing in Mursala which might not give me the answer so let's try that Mursala yeah, so Mursala I don't want Mursala because this is found the root letters Meme, Ra and Seen which is not what I want. So I need to find the root letters. Ra, Sin, Lam. Might take a bit of time to figure out them. So this gives you. Okay, here's where it starts from. So Ra, Sila, and A. Ra, Sila, Yarsalu, Sami'a, Pa'an. Two, be long and flowing, etc. Three, you got to look at the the clock again to understand what the three signifies. And then you can find it over there. So Mursala, Rasul, Risala, etc. Yeah, so you can use that try and use as much as you can so when you go through something like this yeah and, and you go through like a line or two and you, you'll actually become more and more fluid fluent in using the arabic uh, dictionary so try your best inshallah there's some other websites you can use for example like you can use this website this is a, a good website yeah all this is the if you can see at the top here yeah, it's called all the arabic you never learned the first time round yeah because usually what happens is people study arabic and it's only the second time or third time that they start to understand the concepts so this is a website they've got like different sections on there uh, genitive case and idhafa and then it gives you examples and you can do quizzes as well on this yeah so it's, it's quite good so it's a good uh, supplement as well for learning arabic so have a go at that Guys, and if you need any any more help, any more questions, put them in the comments and I'll see what I can do, inshallah. Jazakallah khair. Take care, inshallah. Assalamu alaikum.